Hey, check out our sponsor, MMAHQ.com. All right, thegarb.com here with Kurt Batman Pellegrino. How you doing, Kurt? Great. All right, now, Kurt, uh, you kind of announced your retirement, or if not a retirement, uh, you know, uh, some time off. Can you clarify that? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, me and my wife, uh, we have a four-year-old right now, Priscilla, and we just had another baby, we had a baby boy, um, I like to call him the champ, Kurt Jr. Um, so I just figured that, uh, take some time out of myself and the view of my family and uh, help raise uh, my son, especially, you don't, you know, you don't, you don't get to rewind the clock. And there was so much I missed of Priscilla and having a new, a new baby, I want to make sure that I'm there. When my daughter was born, I was there for four days and then went away for a week and a half. So, I mean, I can't tell you, I missed the, the very beginning stages. And I, you know, I'm home every day with my son and I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the little things I missed out. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, your son, you know, as he grows up, you know, he's gonna be exposed to, to, to mixed martial arts because you're still in the game with your gym uh, in Belmar, New Jersey. You're still training a lot of guys. We're here tonight in Newtown, Pennsylvania. You got uh, Justin Haskins in the main event tonight that you're cornering. So what if your son wants to be a mixed martial artist or a pro fighter? What would you say to that? Uh, you know, if my son wants to uh, do this sport, you know, the first things first is he has to, you know, be one of the best wrestlers in the state of New Jersey. Um, so first things first, I don't want him to be a jiu-jitsu guy. I want him to be a state champ, you know, and uh, let's see where his career goes. My career got cut short in college. That's why I went into fighting. Um, if it didn't get cut short, I'd probably be, you know, a college wrestling coach or a high school wrestling coach. Who knows where I would have been? So this was like a step to keep competing. That's why I chose this this path. Well, wrestlers, you know, really dominate in, in uh, mixed martial arts right now. Um, so you think wrestling is the best base? Absolutely, because if you fight a, a boxer or a Muay Thai guy, um, and he's just a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, and you train jiu-jitsu, you know, you have the edge. You can take the guy down. Um, but you know, the sport is changing so much. Those guys that never wrestled before could stop, you know, a high school state champion now, you know, because it's not, it's not wrestling in MMA, it's MMA fighting. Mm -hmm. So they practice everything. So, you know, the, the, the sport has changed a lot. So when it is, you know, Kurt's gonna do that stuff, um, he's gonna be prepared and he's gonna be an amazing wrestler if he's gonna do that. So uh, you, you would like to see him wrestle? Yeah, I would like to see him do that. But if he doesn't want to do that, he wants to do chess and, and kick butt. I got a great chess teacher at uh, Marcelo Garcia School to help him out with that. So. All right, great. Well, uh, that, that's good. And uh, you know, when his dad is a great wrestler, you know, and a jiu-jitsu black belt, uh, it's pretty nice to have that kind of instruction at home. Yeah, I got a lot of guys too at the gym that are, you know, drilling out the bits to get their hands on them. So I got I got enough of great guys to help him too. So I'm not going to coach him. So he wants to do jiu-jitsu, he can do it at another school. Mm -hmm. Once they wrestle, you can do it at a different school. Tim Kennedy made uh, some Twitter remarks that uh, you know imply that you you got to look at you know like what it is to be a deployed soldier, and uh, you know there, there was some comparison made, you know that kind of was unflattering it seemed uh, towards you. Um, you know I, I don't think Tim uh, worded it correctly. Um, you know, it was an accident, you know, Twitter, you only have a certain amount of characters to, to write something, what you want to write in. Um, it got taken out of, uh, it got taken wrong. Uh, I took it the wrong way. I poked a little bit of fun at him. And, you know, at the end of the day, I've been around for a long time. And uh, people are going to side with me, especially if they think I'm right. And, uh, you know, thank God, you know, so many people do care about me out there. And, you know, they came to have my back. It's really emotional. It's cool to know that so many people out there, you know, like you, you know. Um, he's a great guy, you know, he defends our country, so you gotta respect him for that. I don't defend our country, he does. And uh, there's no comparisons on what he does and what I do. He leaves, he might not ever come back. I leave to get abs or to get a better cardio or to punch somebody in the face and then come back to normal. He doesn't get to do that. He goes there and has to hold a gun and look over his shoulder every second. Um, so there is no comparisons. And if he thinks that was a comparison to fight in because he's a fighter, there's just, there's there's no way. You know, he when he comes home 
from war, he chooses to fight. Chooses to fight. I chose to 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 leave, you know, to leave my wife when I was training for a fight and, and not be with my daughter and, and not go to the beach and that hurt me as a father and uh, I'm not, I chose not to do that this time with my son and be a father this summer and I didn't think it was right that someone like me that would have a UFC contract would keep someone, a, a young gun waiting to come in especially when 155 is so loaded it's not right and uh, I've done it, I've done enough so I'm happy where I am and you know that's what I did, I thought was a pretty big move by me, and uh, I don't regret my decision at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he took a lot of flack for, for the comments, um, you know, and I, I don't think he was, you know, trying to put you down as much as trying to build up the military, but the thing is, when you said that your dad was a Marine, that kind of shut everything down. Right? Yeah, my dad was a Marine. He has death before dishonor. I don't know half of the stuff that goes through his head, and nor will I ever, because I never was put in a situation, and to be honest with you, I, I don't want to be. I don't know if I could handle it. You know, I don't think I could handle one day in jail. How could I handle one day when people are shooting at me, trying to kill me? You know, those guys, those men and women out there are unbelievable. And, uh, you know, what they say, what I do is amazing. I think what they do is really the, the most amazing part. You know, I thank my dad every day, you know. Um, so, I mean, he's a great guy. And, he, you know, I just think that everyone took it the way he wrote it. And just went went with it, right? And you know, it, it, it's cleared up. Everything's fine. He's following me now on Twitter. If not, he should. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's fine. All right, great. Now, uh, so you've got the academy in uh, Belmar, New Jersey, and that's gonna you're gonna devote a lot of time to that now. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, really uh, training my guys a lot now. Um, uh, started uh, teaching full time at the school every day, every class, all the morning classes, all the night classes. Uh, I have fighter practices every night at 8 o'clock, Monday through uh, Thursday. Um, so I'm really into the guys. I watch all the fight tapes. I, you know, I'm taking everyone apart, and I sit them down and tell them how we're going to win. And uh, you know, Jeff went on that, that streak of losing, and I blamed it on myself because I wasn't there to really sit there and help him train. And then he fought uh, his last fight in Bellator and looked absolutely amazing. Jeff Lentz, you're talking about. Jeff Lentz, mm -hmm. and uh, he beat a guy he should have lost to because the guy was a, you know, Anthony was a great wrestler, mm -hmm. and he couldn't even take Jeff down. And I, you know, I credit myself. I'm going to take credit for that because Je Jeff's not a wrestler. Yeah, Jeff looked guy. great in the last time out. Really, yeah, he looked him, and he and he didn't even stand up and bang with him mm -hmm. because he he was he was so nervous. He got he got real nervous for the fight. No one knew that. And he didn't throw any punches. I was like, oh man, we're in trouble. He told me before the fight, he was, I'm in trouble. And I said, no, you're not. You're going to get through it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm here with you. We trained this whole time together. Right. Just go out there and you, you beat the Jeff Lentz. I know, push him against the fence and beat him up. Mm -hmm. Make it an MMA fight. Don't make it a boxing or a kickboxing fight. And don't let him wrestle you and take you down. Push him against the fence. Now it's not wrestling. Now it's not kickboxing. Now it's an MMA fight. Right. And that's what he did. And he, he, he beat him up pretty good. And you know, I was, I was pumped for him. So, and here we are with Justin, and I expect the same thing. Yeah, Justin Haskins, uh, he won the Ring of Combat title last time out, looked uh, ferocious in there. Justin, I told Justin, if you want to change your stars at night, when you, you know, at nighttime you close your door and you go out and start your night, and the stars aren't there, it's because you need to change them. You need to do something different. And he went from 185 to 170, and now to 155. And I got to tell you, if, he's, if, if, he, if he comes tonight, the way I know he can, I don't. I don't see no one at 155 pounds beating him. Not not today, and and not three quarters of the guys at 155 in the UFC. So, well, all right, those are some strong words there. So, looking forward to his fight tonight. And the last thing is, I guess you have time for some more ink. Uh, now, getting some more ink. So, uh, you just <laughs> did some on your chest or somewhere, didn't you? Yeah, I got my chest on. Come on, let's see. Oh, not till it's done. Oh, not till it's done. Okay. It's all, I got a tiger with wings. So I gotta no, wait till it's done. No sneak peeks. No sneaks. <laughs> I tweet them. That's it. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you're not gonna see it here. All right. Well, good. Maybe at the Ring of Combat, I'll show it to you. So All it's right. done. Well, we, we got right. the Ring of Combat in a couple weeks. Kurt, we'll see you there. Thank you. Hey, check out our sponsor, MMAHQ.com. Daily deals, awesome products, but move fast. These deals are here today, gone tomorrow. Here's what you missed so far. Check them out. See what's on sale today.